Our next guest is Janet Rehecki, who is many things. She is an author, she's an author of children's books, and she specializes in dinosaurs. She has written 132 books that are currently available, and she's also the network representative for the SCBWI, which is the Society for Children's Books Writers and Illustrators. Janet, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm delighted to be here. Can you tell us about the SCBWI? Okay, it's a, a organization that is um, designed to help children's book writers. They, okay. uh, writing is kind of a lonely business. You sit home alone and you, you look at the computer and your fingers move, and, <laughs> and it's kind of a lonely business. And uh, Lynn Oliver and Stephen uh, Mooser, who are children's book writers, they decided to start one. And they thought, we need an organization that's going to help people. And it's just grown and grown and grown. And now it's a huge international organization. And there are conferences at the national and international level. And then we work our way down to regional, regional areas. And then there are um, even smaller networks. And so I'm a network representative for a small group of people in this particular area and we try to help ch people who are aspiring to be children's book writers. Now your group meets where? Uh, we meet at the Barnes & Noble on Gene um, in Geneva mm -hmm. on Randall Road. We meet in the cafe and we decide to make it real easy for people so we meet the first Wednesday of each month and the fourth Tuesday. So we figured, you know, how could you not remember that? Uh, anyway, <laughs> so um, we meet together. We're a critique group. Uh, we bring things to the group. We read them out loud and then people offer suggestions about how to make you know, it, a little bit better. Usually about four or five pages a person, depending on how many people come each time. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's fun, and you learn things. I know that my writing is better because of the people in that group. And, and you encourage each other and help each other. And when you get a rejection letter, you can share it with everybody. And they go, oh, that editor didn't know what she was talking <laughs> about. And, and you get that kind of support from people. And that's, that's um, just one of the best things that, that SCBWI has to offer is the support that we can give each other. So you don't have to be already published and a, an, an author of 100 books in order to belong to this group, right? <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, everybody was unpublished at one point in their lives. Everybody starts out at the same place, unpublished. And so um, our... our group are a mixture of published and unpublished people and we try to be very welcoming and supporting for people who come in who have just written their first book. Or yeah. somebody that might be thinking about writing their first book and wants to get a little bit of background or a little, mm -hmm. bit, a little bit of support. Yeah, yeah, we can give help at any different stage that you are at. If even even if you know what sometimes happens to people, um, Madeline Langle, who is one of the most wonderful children's book writers, had a gap in her career. She had published two books, but they hadn't gone anywhere. They hadn't done much, and so she was having trouble getting published again. And so, if you're at that kind of a stage in your life, we can help. If you're, you know, all different kinds of uh, things where you're at. Um, Dr. Seuss sent. And the thing that I saw at Mulberry Street to 28 publishers, and they all said no. And then the 29th publisher sold 6 million copies of it. And so, so we know all those things, and we can tell you those things when you got a rejection letter at your first one, and we go, oh, don't worry about it. You have lots more coming. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and I have a stack of rejection letters, you know, that big, um, because I've been at this a long time, and you always... But the thing is, is that... If you're all alone, then then you don't have that. You 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 just uh, you go. Oh, nuts! This must mean I'm not a good writer, and it doesn't mean that at mm -hmm. all. And so we can we can help with that. And we also have resources on the website for SCBWI. You can log in onto the website. It's just www.scbwi.org, mm -hmm. um, not .com, .org, because we are not a profit or organization. And you can just log in there, and there is so, you know button after button after button that you. You can click on for information about anything you can think of, how to find an agent, what to look for in a publisher, how to develop characters, um, anything you want, There, it's there on that website. And publishing tips, insider's tips that aren't available to the general public, uh, those insider tips are, are there too. You, you do have to be a member, mm -hmm. um, and, and um, but it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it for, for friendship, 
for knowledge, for support. It's, it's a wonderful organization. So now to come to your meetings that you have in Geneva, somebody doesn't have to be a, a member before they come to the first no, meeting? No, anybody can come. We are welcome. We don't actually ever ask. Um, at, the, at the network level, we don't ask. Um, you just come. I didn't say it was at 7 o'clock in the evening. It should have been to that. Okay, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock in the evening. You just come into the cafe. You look for a bunch of people sitting around at a table. All of them have these you know, manuscripts with them. And you say hi. We say hi. And we'll talk a little bit to get to know you. And, you know, and you can see, you know, a lot of people the first time, they just sit and listen. Mm -hmm. And when they find out that we're really actually kind of nice but constructive. Yes. It doesn't do any good to tell somebody, oh, this is so good. What do you, how can you get better from that? You exactly. can't. Everything can get better. Everything Absolutely. can get better. And so uh, we are kind but honest. And so it's really, <laughs> um, it, it, I just, I think it's a great organization. Tell us just a little bit about your writing. Now, oh. you've got a hundred and some odd books, lots of them on dinosaurs, and the library from here to here are your dinosaur books. So tell us a little bit about what your passion is in your writing oh. and what you do. I have the best job in the whole world. I really do. I get to do all kinds of interesting things. I, um, I, I do primarily nonfiction books, and so I travel a lot to research my books. Um, we, we went on an actual dinosaur dig in Colorado. I dug up three real dinosaur bones. Ooh. And just by sheer coincidence, I didn't, of course, know this, but the paleontologist in charge of the dig, one of them turned out to be from a brand new species of dinosaur. Wonderful. So I discovered the first bone of the Mymora Pelta, which you've never heard of, but heard I of. discovered the first bone. <laughs> and uh, when I did a book on Edison, we went to the National Historic Site, and I got to actually read the unpublished papers of Edison. And um, I spent three days on a reservation in Oklahoma when I wrote a book about the um, Osage Indian Nation. And Perfect I, job. <laughs> it is a wonderful job, and I love doing it. And then um, I collect dinosaur bones, uh -huh. um, and I take them around to schools and things like that and show my collection. I have about 50 now, um, including a 5-foot, 7-inch of Panasaurus femur. It's a replica, of course, because you couldn't carry around right. one that, that was real. Um, and it was a Christmas gift for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's love. That's I know. It was, I was ecstatic. It was the best Christmas gift I ever got. And so I was very excited about that. So if people want to find out more about the SCBWI and how they can get passionate and write about what their passions are, what's the best way for them to find out more about that? You can go to www.scbwi.org. Um, and SCBWI is Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators. Illustrators are also welcome. Our particular group doesn't have any illustrators in it, but we can put you in touch with illustrators. If you are interested in illustrating children's books, we can also help you with that. Well, Janet, thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope lots of people take up the invitation to go find more about <laughs> this and, and, and get their passion for book writing. So thank you so much. Well, thank you very much. It was a delight. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in to Batavia Spotlight. Remember, you can watch us on Comcast Channel 17, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, or on our website, www.mybatv.com. You can also go to our YouTube channel, which is BATV1017. I'm your host, Ellen Huxtable, and we'll see you again next time. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at 630-937-5413 or email us at info at mybatv.com. Have a wonderful day.